Hey guys. Well, in the last video we talked about measuring the pieces. You know, we marked things out and we found the absolute length. And we wrote those lengths down. Once we do that, we can start marking the tubing and cutting those to length. Once we have the pieces of tubing to length, what we want to do is we want to create index marks. The index mark on the tubing really helps us align everything. It helps us cope the joint. It helps us keep everything straight, square, centered aligned the whole works it makes life a lot easier once we have an index mark on the ends of the pipe we we can we want to do the same on one end as we do the other it has to be identical that makes life easier it makes laying out a fuselage fun instead of a really tough chore one of the ways to do that is i if you look here this is just a piece of plywood and i ran it through a table saw on it with a dado blade okay i ran it a half inch wide because the intercostals into the fuselage are all half inch, except for a couple pieces that are 5 eighths. <laughs> if I lay this piece of tubing in, I immediately have a, a, a center mark. The depth is 220 thousandths. It's, you know, half of a half inch is a quarter inch, 250. I actually made it like 220 because the ink pen itself happens to be like, say, 20 thousandths ballpark. So I don't want to go dead center, otherwise the marks I put on will be higher than I want them. Now, not everybody has a table saw. Some people have to do the budget way. Nothing wrong with that. These two are just cap strip, and you, so you can make your own from cap strip, just like you'd use on a, on a wing jig. You fasten these right down to your, your table. Remember, your fuselage table is also a workstation, so just kind of push it to the side and screw the stuff down. That way it's always there. Not only is it good for making index marks, but it's really good for holding the half-inch pipe while you work on it. it really, it makes a nice, solid kind of a holder. You can stick it out in the end. You can cope on it, grind on it. It's just, it just makes life easy. Okay, I'm going to grab a paint marker. One second. Okay, here's a paint marker. Got to shake it up a little bit. I can put my mark right here. Okay, go on the other side. Without touching that pipe, I can go all the way to the other end, mark it the same way. Okay. Now that's marked. Now, what I want to do is pull it out. You see those marks? Index it. Put those marks top center, straight up and down. So this end and the other end are pointing straight up. Mark it again. I now have four index marks. Okay, just going to mark the other end. There you go. I pull this out, and you can see four marks. Now I know that if I cope one end, I can flip the pipe around. Okay, and I know where my centers are. That saves a lot of frustration, a lot of layout issues, and uh, keeps you from making scrap. In the next video, I want to start talking about how we cope that joint.